Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the pipes concept in this uh, Angular 18. So we will be well, let's try to understand about the pipes. So we use the pipes to transform the strings, currency, amounts, dates, and other data for the display. So if you want to transform the data, the display data, so we will be using the pipe. What is a pipe actually? So what I want to explain you is so normally generally what is a pipe i will try to paste it here so this is the code pipe are simple functions to use in templates to accept an input value and return a transformed value so this is the definition for the pipe pipes are useful because you can use them throughout your application while only declaring each pipe once that's one thing for example you would use a pipe to show the date as april 50 1988 rather than the raw string format you can also create your own custom pipe also. So we can also create our own custom pipes to expose the reusability transformation in the templates. So apart from this one, we have some Angular provides some built-in pipes for typical data transformations, including transformations for internalizations and all those things it will provide. So out of them are some of the things like date pipe, uppercase pipe, lowercase pipe, currency pipe, like this we'll be having. I will try to show you each one one by one. So using a pipe in a template. So this is the all about the definition of the pipe. So how we will be using the pipe in a template. So to apply a pipe, we will be using the pipe operator. So we will be using this vertical line operator. To apply pipe, we use the pipe operator within a template expression as shown in the following code example. So I will try to show you that code example. For example, let's say that. So the first built-in pipe which I want to explain you is the date pipe. For example, let's say that in our app component.ts file, we are having a birthday as new date. So that means something around right now, the date is July 20, 2024 at the time of this recording. Now, if you want to show this date pipe means, so how you will try to show. So here I will try to write the due. Okay. And normally we will show the birthday. Okay. If I try to show the birthday for this one, if you see here, so this is the long format of the raw string format of the date we are able to see. Now if I want to get it in a human readable format means then I can use the pipe option, the built-in pipe available in the Angular. So directly you can use the date like this. Now if you try to use the date like this, now if you try to see it has been converted into a user, user readable format. So this is one thing. And not only this one, optionally you can also send parameters to this one. For example, let's say that if you want some other type of uh, format means so you can write it something like i want uh, the month format okay and then afterwards year format let's assume so then if you try to see here so first the date has came next the month and also this one so if you try to use only single m means then you will be able to see the number okay and if you try to check this double m so i didn't remember so so many things will be there zero seven and if you try to check it like this then if you try to see here the total month name we are able to get it and here small y means then we can able to get some other option like this you will be having okay why why if i try to check it like this no so i don't know so that is that is how we will be trying to do it and if i try to remove this one so then you will not have the year option so this is these are the different options which you will be having in the date pipe so this is one thing and we also have an another thing something like uppercase pipe so for example let's say that you are having one div and i want to show the leela web div and if i want to convert this one to an uppercase so here you will be able to see the channel name that is leela web div if i want to convert this one to the uppercase means then you can use a pipe option and i can use it like an uppercase now if you try to see here oh sorry then we need to use the curly bracket so I, you should not use it like this and this one should be a string okay you can use it in a variable also you can use it now you will be able to see the entire leela web dev has been converted into an uppercase so this is thing so uppercase doesn't have any uh, formatting options or any other extra options you will not have so just a pipe you can use the pipe name and the same scenario if you are having any text with the a lower case like the uppercase and lowercase combination means if you want to convert total to the lowercase means so we have an option that is nothing but lowercase so immediately everything will be converted into a lowercase this is one thing and we also have an another one that is nothing but currency pipe conversion so it it formats the number as a currency for example let's say that you are having an due 
and I will be having a number of 1, 2, 3, 4, 4.5 so this one I need to convert into a currency means then what I need to do I can use the built-in pipe that is nothing but currency so then it will be converted into a dollar comma 1, 2, 3, 4 so the default option is dollar if you want to convert it into a euro, euro means so you can provide something like currency and here you can provide euros then it will be converted into a euro symbol or otherwise if you want to convert into a INR means then it will be converted into a rupee symbol so like this whichever you want you can do it and also we can also give the symbol or the code so which one you want it so for example if you want the code means then you can use the code then you will be able to see INR so the directly the INR will come so if you want to use the symbol means symbol means nothing but that one USD means you will get an USD okay USD like this you will be able to get it. so if you want a symbol means dollar symbol you will get it so like this you will be able to and the digits info also you can tell so that is nothing but what I can say is symbol we have got it right code and you can mention that so digits you need to have and minimum fraction digits we need to have a 2 and the maximum also 2 so now you will be able to see 123.50 so for example if I try to keep it as 33 means then you will be able to see 500 you are able to get it so that is the thing so now this is all about the currency file format and we also have an another thing that is nothing but decimal pipe so formats a number as a decimal string so the same example I will try to take it here you are having this one right now if I convert into a decimal so or otherwise what I say is sorry the number then then these all things are not suitable so you need to give only the format so 1 2 comma 2 so that means so maximum fraction digit should be 50 so like this and we also have another one that is nothing but percentage for example let's say that you are having a, uh, something around 0 point, 0 point 1, 2, 3, 4. and if you want to convert into percentage means then you need to give the percent so automatically it will come around 12 percent so that is one thing which you can do it so you can also mention the format for this one also something like uh, you need to have the integer and minimum integers is 1 and uh, uh, 2 comma 2 so 2 comma 2 means totally two fractions should be there that is one thing so this is also one thing and we have an another one also that is nothing but slice pipe so what is this slice pipe Con creates a new array or string containing the subset of the slice of the elements so normally we'll give slice colon start comma and we'll try to give for example let's say that you are having a paragraph i will try to take it and uh, here i will take array of one comma two comma three comma four comma five okay so I will use the slice symbol so pipe slice and colon starting okay and also the ending now if you try to see the output for this one only the 2 3 came okay starting and the end array we have given in the same scenario if you want to convert this one means so you can also use it for the string also so for example let's say that if you are having an angular okay then also you will be able to see the ng if you have 0 means then a n g you will be able to get it so this is about the slice pipe and another one which you have is a json pipe json pipe means for example let's say that i am having uh, let's say i am having an object okay so here i will be having an object uh, name is equal to leela and like this we are having an object so now we are able to see that closing symbol something like that we are able to get it right now for this one in order to convert to json so here you can add it something like json now let's see what will happen the output we are able to see directly the output for this one so this is the json pipe which you can use it mostly for the debug purpose and all those things and the async pipe which i have already explained you about the async pipe so unwraps a value from a promise or an observable so there is also async pipe also we can use it and we have our last one is the async pipe i already shown you in the previous videos i don't want to show you so for example let's say that we are having this one details dollar right so here you can use directly uh, something like uh, details uh, async that's it so now if you want to check it one two three four we are able to see the values so like this we can use it so key value pair title case pipe is there so like this we have so many types of pipes will be there okay the uh, built-in these built-in pipes provide convenient way to format and transform data directly within your angular templates enhancing readability and reducing the need for custom transformation logic so these are the different types of built-in pipes which are available most commonly we will be using in angle rating 
In the next video, we will try to see how we can create our own custom pipe in the Angular. Hope you understood about these built-in pipes. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.